Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm a wedding photographer in the lovely state of North Carolina. And today I want to talk about culling your images before editing them because I just started doing this, admittedly. I, I didn't realize how good and productive culling images are before editing them until now. But I'm a firm believer and so I wanna talk about it a little bit. Why you should start culling your images before editing them. Culling, what, what is it? Let me tell you, culling your images is basically just going through them, deleting the ones that you don't want, keeping the ones that you do, maybe not even deleting, but just keeping the images that you want to edit. So you go through them and get like your final images and those will be the ones that you eventually deliver to your client. You're probably thinking, Katie, you're a wedding photographer. Surely you don't upload 3000 photos into Lightroom before going through them. And I would say, yes, I have uploaded 3000 plus photos from one wedding into Lightroom, edited some of them, and then eventually deleted them. I've actually gone through and like edited an entire wedding and then been like, oh, these images don't work. I already edited them, but I'm going to delete them now. It's just, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing at all, but I recently started with a culling software and going through that first, getting the number down and then editing them. Oh my gosh. Like it's been a game changer for me. And I want to just talk about why you should start doing that as well. Okay, and just in case you can hear it, my husband is watching Wally downstairs. And a fun fact, Wally, I really think Wally is my favorite movie. It is a better 2001 Space Odyssey. I said it, and I will die on that hill. I am not a Stanley Kubrick stan, okay? We do not stan Stanley in this house. Anyway, the first reason why you should start calling your images before you edit them is number one, it is cut down significantly on my editing time since doing this myself. What it's doing is really just allowing me to edit the photos I actually want to deliver and not editing ones that I'm just gonna delete later. Now, I'm an overshooter and I definitely I don't know if I'm like an under color or an over color, but I'll add more photos into Lightroom than I'm planning truly on sending because maybe they look good and then once I start editing them, I'm like, mm, no, it's not really my style, so then I will delete it. So there's a little bit of that during the editing process, but for the most part, I'm not wasting my time editing images and then like just to delete them later and not deliver them. So I upload all of my images into a culling software. I really go through and decide which ones I wanna keep. It gives me a final number of images I have and as long as it's in within like my personal number and the number that I tell my clients is between 50 to 75 images per hour of coverage. As long as it's within that, which it usually is, it's, I usually over deliver, of course, but then I will export it to Lightroom or ship it over to Lightroom. And I'm only spending time editing the ones that I actually want, the ones that are clear, like not blurry, the ones where everyone's eyes are open. I'm not worrying about that. Like I'm not worrying about doing all of that in Lightroom. This brings me to my second point is that Lightroom is not a culling software. It is an editing software. Lightroom is not the best tool for culling your images, for going through your images. It is a better tool for editing because that's literally what it is, an editing software. It's what it's supposed to do. So with culling tools like Photo Mechanic or Narrative Select, you can quickly go through your images, tag the ones that you want to keep, and then kind of use that as a guide. So all your tagged photos are the ones that you will then uh, import into Lightroom, and those are the ones that you ultimately will edit. I personally use Narrative Select, and it actually has a feature, like as you're going through the images, it has like these little symbols or like, green or red or whatever, I don't know how to describe them, but when you go through your photos, it shows you if everyone's eyes are open, if it's green, everyone's eyes are open, if they're red, like they facial recognition or detection, and they can detect if somebody's eyes are closed. So it makes going through images so quick and so easy, and I just hit T to tag them, and then 
all the ones that I tag that I want to edit, I then ship off to Lightroom. It's also incredibly helpful for big parties, like big family formals. You can really make sure that you're getting the images where everyone's eyes are open. That's often hard to find most of the time, especially when there's like children involved, but it makes it really easy. Can you still call your images in Lightroom? Technically, yes. Have I done it? Yes. But do I recommend it now? No. I highly recommend investing in a culling software. Another reason why you should start culling your images before editing them is just saving storage space. So I back up all of my raw images to an external hard drive in a folder labeled like whatever wedding. So like from if Jesse and I were getting married and I also for some reason shot our own wedding, it would be Vaughn wedding. So I label it based on the wedding and I save all of the raw images there. When I upload it, I pull from that folder that I already have into Narrative Select. So I don't have to re-upload any photo into Narrative, it just kind of pulls from those folders into a project. So once I go through and I hit tag and I have my collection of tagged images that I would like to ship to Lightroom, it then goes to Lightroom. So really it all is in one location in those folders, all my raw images on my external hard drive, and then the ones that I actually want to edit, I then ship to Lightroom. So it saves space on my actual computer because most of the things that I use are cloud-based softwares and so this also saves room in my Lightroom in my cloud software for that because I'm not uploading 3,000 images I'm uploading maybe a thousand or 700 at a time depending on the wedding just editing the ones that I want to edit another reason why you should start culling your images before editing them is I'm going through my images when I'm the most excited I'm always so excited after wedding day to go through the images and see them, especially like when I know there's some really good sunset photos in there. Like you're excited to go through and start editing them. Like I, most sessions I wanna run home and start editing, whether that be an engagement session or a wedding or a family session. I wanna know what the photos are gonna look like. I get really excited. So as I'm going through, I'm excited to see the photos. I'm excited to go through. I'm still in that like, I don't know, when you get off of a photo shoot, like is it a photo shoot high? I'm gonna start calling it that though. So I'm going through and finding the ones that bring me the most joy, the ones that I'm most excited about editing, and it just makes the whole process better versus uploading all of them in Lightroom, editing a bunch, and then when you're tired and it's like a deadline, you're trying to get this gallery out, then you're going through and culling through the images, like you're not super excited like you are coming out of a session. If that makes sense. Maybe you're like me, maybe you're not. I don't know. So let's talk about choosing the right culling software for you. Today I wanna to talk about Narrative Select and this video is in no way sponsored at all. I just really like it so I thought I'd share it with you. I've used Photo Mechanic in the past and that is one that I see most often. Most photographers use and recommend Photo Mechanic and it does basically the same thing, okay? <laughs> like. Narrative Select isn't like a better platform in terms of what they do. They both easily let you go through your images, tag the ones, and then import them into Lightroom. By the bones of the software, they're doing the same thing. But why do I prefer Narrative Select? I think the whole user experience is a little bit better. It's easier to use in my opinion. And I, I don't know, I like the way that it looks a little bit more too. I pull from the folder, similar to Photo Mechanic, you pulled from like a folder stored on a memory card or a folder on your computer or a hard drive or whatever. I pull from that. I like to ship it into straight into Lightroom. I found that extremely easy on Narrative Select because I like to try to figure things out for myself before Googling it. It was super easy to do it with Narrative Select, but I would say the biggest reason why I prefer Narrative Select over Photo Mechanic is that there's a free plan. So you get six free projects per month and a project is every time you go and pull from a different folder, I guess. So if you had one big folder for a wedding, that would be one project. I think you get up to six projects free every single month. Did I already say that? I think I already said that. So if you're like me, I don't do as many sessions every single month. Like I'm not doing triple header wedding weekends every single weekend. So six projects a month for me sounds pretty good. And that's 
for the free plan. Of course, if you're shooting more, there are paid versions, but that was the biggest draw for me to Narrative Select is because they had that free plan option. Because there are some, I mean, there are some months that I only shoot one wedding. Maybe I'll shoot like an engagement session or two, but I don't need a full paid plan because of, you know, the caliber or like the frequency of my shoots. And so I think it's a really great option if you're just starting out with a culling software. It's really no investment at all. You just download it and start using it and as long as you don't go over the free plan like you should be good i know photo mechanic i believe does like a free 30 day trial i'm not quite sure but again they work the same so either one that you choose will be perfectly fine but i just prefer narrative select it's super easy to use there's a free plan and it ships like very easily straight into lightroom I know there's some other like integrations that you can do with it, but I just kind of ship it straight into Lightroom and call it good. So I hope that this video has convinced you to start culling your images before you edit them because I'm telling you, I was skeptical, but I'm a believer now. It has been an absolute game changer in my whole workflow for my photography business. So I hope you give it a try, but I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.